I'm going to do a short video, um, partly a bit of an advertorial for the for Chrome Northwest products because of course I promote them uh, because they're fantastic. But also about cleaning a lorry and stuff. I was at a delivery this morning and the two blokes there were talking about my lorry and stuff and uh, one of them said to the other, it looked like it must be brand new. And they didn't realise, well, they were amazed when I said it was nearly two years old. Um, so yeah, just a bit about cleaning really, and there's, there's a new product out as well, and about the other ones, and um, once you get a lorry clean, you can keep, keep it clean really, relatively easily, I don't put like hours and hours and hours of work into this lorry, I just keep it on top of it, bit by bit, the easiest way, and obviously a lot of you will drive lorries that you don't keep, and a lot of you just don't care, and that's perfectly fine, otherwise the person you think keeping the lorry tight is part of the job, but still, some don't, it's your prerogative. But first, I'm going to have like a late breakfast. Mm. Egg and bacon. What do you want, Bertie? Pork chops. What? Pork chops. Pork chops. Get me pork chops. I want pork chops. So right, I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to go outside and do some cleaning. Right. So these are the things I use the most. Slick mist on the bodywork, obviously. Pink and wheel brake. Now pink's for dash and plastics and stuff. But I also use it on the tyres and I do this every couple of weeks and you'll see now it'll be a couple of weeks since I did them last and it, but it keeps the tyres really black just like that I know and most of you probably have no intention of ever cleaning your tyres but it does make a difference it looks nice so basically what you do is just I mean they do you can get proper tyre stuff too but it's sort of harder work basically just like liberally cover it like that and then just let it run off um, having black, black, black tyres really does make the difference between them um, standing out and not. Especially with the alloys, it looks good against the alloys. Right, so the other thing I use a lot of is um, wheel brake. But never, ever do anything with um, these Dura brakes. So they shouldn't be polished, and you should definitely not use this sort of stuff on it, right? Um, I did suggest you maybe sell it as a different name as well as the wheel brake, like catwalk cleaner and stuff. Because it's, um, I won't be using it now because I need a pressure washer. But it's fantastic for getting all the metal clean, as you can see. It's not polished, this is just from wheel brake. Unfortunately, my ABS lead got stretched and covered in grease, and now all my catwalks are covered in grease. But I will just spray this liberally over it, give it a bit of a brush, and then pressure wash it off, and the catwalk will be all nice and silver again, which is um, good stuff. And on to Slick Mist. Now, I've talked about Slick Mist all the time. It's the most amazing product. You can see how shiny it is now. It doesn't need slick misting because I did it yesterday, but I'll just show you how to apply it. It's so easy. It's also really good if the truck's just slightly dirty, say you've gone through a quick rainstorm or stuff. Um, if there's a little bit of dirt on it, you can just slick mist all the dirt off. Basically, that's all you need. And then you just wipe it off. It's like the nicest... That rag's not very good. You need a bit of an absorbent rag. rag. And that's it. I can slick mist a whole lorry in about um, 10 minutes. But yeah, basically this shine is all slick mist. Because like I say, when, you run, when I run out, like I'd run out for a little while before, I could see the paintwork getting duller and duller. Slick mist is the difference between them. Well, actually, you can see it up there, because I haven't done the top yet. You can see it's just slightly duller than the bottom. I need to get on and do the top. So yeah, that's slick mist. These are really good too. They're for drying. So like for a lot of, uh, like our yard, one of our yards, which one? I think it's Dublin. The water is really grubby. Um, well, not grubby, but it leaves, because I suppose it's in a city, it's hard and it leaves horrible drip marks all over the cab. So this is like the equivalent of a chamois leather, but a fabric. So when it's dry wet, you can just wipe all the water off and gives it a nice, takes away all the, uh, the horrible spots, the water spots. And this one, I've not used before, like I said, it's a new product. It's just brought it out. Um, so I'm going to use it, it's plastic, apparently. Oh, another thing, 
Slick Mist is really good on the alloys. Absolutely fantastic on the alloys because I Slick Mist them too. So apparently what we do here is put some on a rag and wipe it over the plastics. Oh wow, that's making a massive difference. Apparently it's long lasting because I used to use pink on these, which lasts a decent amount of time. But one good rainstorm and um, that's it. Wow, that's really nice. Look at that. I have to put the phone down now and concentrate. Wow, well I'm impressed with rubber gel. I've only used a little bit as well, look. To do all the wings. That should last me months. Look how shiny she is now. See, I just think polishing up the mud guards and everything makes a massive difference. Because they often look old and it uh, does it good, it stops them aging quite so much. Because obviously plastic does age quite quickly. Right, I'm just going to do the pink those wheels around that side and then I'm going to slip Mr. the alloys and then I'm going to head off to load. Mm, sexy. So there we go, I hope you found that a bit helpful. I dare say some of you don't like the fact I've got rope stuff. But hey ho, a lot of work into this uh, YouTube channel and with certain stuff over the years. So. Um, and I like to keep saying, write it because it's good. You know, I keep my lorry cleaner now than I ever have done. Part of the reason for that is, is everything he sells is just so easy. You know, it's um, just before Walter Truck Show, I ran out of stuff when I needed to tie a black and some sort of inch helmet. Just got some, so it wasn't passing him. And um, throw. It was all rubbish. It took so much effort to get a lesser appearance. I've spent 20 minutes out there and I've blacked the tyres, blacked all the uh, plastic, slip missed some bits, polished the alloys, or not polished, uh, waxed the alloy, like I say, we've never polished rubber brakes. Um, so it's easy, yeah, that's what I like about this stuff here, it's easy. The next time you need some cleaning materials for your trundle wagon, visit Chrome Northwest CP. No, what's the website? Visit ChromeCP.com for all your cleaning material needs. Um, oh, I forgot to mention one, um, Mega Clean. It's really good for this sort of mis miscellaneous stuff, but it's really good at getting flies off the windscreen. Let's have something that eats your fat, because that's the problem with flies, isn't it? They're um, mostly fat, they're like 80% fat or something. Fat, fat. God, I'm so fat. <clears throat> anyway, Bertie wants to say something now. Yes, I do. In my part-time job, valeting cars in a Tesco car park, I recommend pink to all my customers. Pink, the future of in-car cleaning. Is that it? No, not quite. Um, I have two bottles to give away. Oh, you tell me this. So, the next two people that see me, or look, the, or the ass, after this video is released, will get a bottle of pink each. Hopefully they'll have never used pink before and they'll be stunned at its revolutionary uh, cleaning powers. Good. Can I go back now? Yes, you can. That bloody Jason doesn't pay me enough for this shit. Bertie, the camera's still on. Oh, no. Edit it bit out. I'm warning you. <laughs>